All right, y'all. So it looks like the YouTuber Dodash has actually been getting a lot of flack and a lot of hate recently because she released a ebook teaching people about how to be successful on YouTube. And people weren't really impressed with what she said because it's simple stuff that you can find everywhere across the internet. Now, I'm going to be honest with you all in this video. And to speak to my credibility, you all can look me up for yourselves. Um, I'm a YouTuber with 300,000 plus subscribers on one channel over like almost 100,000 on another channel. I have a lot of channels like I'm I'm Vail, I'm Cavell Anderson, I'm ASK Vail, I'm ASK Vail Reacts. I have I have a lot of channels and I have channels that I don't make public um, that I also do behind the scenes. So that being said, I, I have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and tens of millions of views, hundreds of millions of views actually. And you can look, look, look me up across any platform. Now, that being said, I'm not saying this to flex. I'm just saying that I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm talking about because I've grown in pretty much any way possible that there is to grow on this platform and on multiple different platforms. And what I'll say is this, the only thing that she can really do is give you all the keys to her success. And honestly, YouTube is not as difficult as people make it. It's more so about consistency than anything else. If you stay consistent and, and your videos get better, you listen to the feedback in the comment section, and that's very, very slept on. People in the comment section will, will explain to you how they feel. They'll tell you what they think about the content that you're making. And if you can keep you can keep up with the demand and the things that they ask for. You can kind of polish your style, polish the, the stuff that you're doing and fix the things that you're doing wrong as long as you remain humble and don't think, nah, my content was lit. My content was perfect. That's the best way this content could be. No, the, the, the audience is going to tell you what you could have done better. They're going, oh, you talk too much. That means that you, 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 it, it doesn't even mean necessarily that people just say the first thing that come to their mind. So if somebody says you talk too much in your videos, cause I, I get it a lot. What they're saying is that the things that you're saying at this point in time are not even valuable to what I'm trying to see. So that that doesn't mean that you have to talk less. It means that because think about it this way. If they said you talk too much, would they still have written that comment if what you said out of your mouth was something that they was thinking and that they agree with? No, they would have felt like, Yo, oh, I feel the same about what they just said. I, I feel that too. I like this person. Let me subscribe. So basically, when you have to be able to decipher and understand the audience and hear what they're really saying when they say certain things. Um, so when they say, oh, you talk too much, no, they're saying that you're not saying nothing. You, you, what you're saying is pointless right now. Get better and improve at the, the way that you're speaking on certain things or, or whatever you're talking about. So this goes from reaction videos. This goes to like actually producing your own content. I do a lot of reaction videos now. I have done and edited my own content. Um, basically, all the tips to growing on YouTube is just generic. You stay consistent, tags, titles, descriptions, and it's, it's really the, the cheat code these days is about watch time. It's watch time. And I will give you all an even bigger cheat code. Niche down. Niche down. Like, I feel like so many people want to just do everything. Like, let's, let's say the NBA. You want to... If you want to make NBA content, you know how hard it's going to be to get popping, just going straight in for the NBA. Like, bro, the NBA gets crazy amounts of views. It's crazy amounts of people trying to talk about it or make content about it. Trying to go straight for the NBA is going to be tough. But let's say you go for like three point shots. Steph Curry, like, like I don't, I don't watch sports, so I, I couldn't tell you outside of Steph, but. All the best three-point shooters, you commentate on that, or you put clips together and videos about three-point shooters. Just go for shooting. Go niche down. Then after you got an audience full of people who love the shooting content, throw some dunks in there. Be like, okay, a LeBron video? Oh, okay. Then maybe a, a team synergy channel. Like, that's not highly searched, though. So you maybe maybe handles, handles, you know? Handles channel. Everybody love crossovers and people getting done dirty, man. So you and what the best part about this is you don't even have to just do right now. Go back to Iverson days. Go back to Jordan. Go back to some crazy crossovers in the past. So you see what I'm saying? Like instead of trying to attack the NBA, niche down. Attack the handles. Handles in the NBA. So now you're not trying to compete with NBA people. You're competing with people doing videos about handles. And it can be that many of those. So now you get you get your own little section in the in the search engine that is also still affiliated right with the NBA. 
So if you grow in this section, you can easily convert over into bigger areas within that same category of the NBA. Take your time, dominate slowly. Um, one of my channels, ASK Vale, is my biggest channel in gaming. If you actually go, if you actually go to that channel and you look at my older content, you'll see I started off. We have characters in the game. I started off making build videos for each character. This is the best build you should be using type of videos. Then I, I, so I was, I didn't go for for the game itself. I went for the builds that you should be using. Then I went for news. Then I went for the top characters you should be playing. I, I started off slowly dominating everything. And now today I can pretty much make a video on anything and I can be seen amongst the whole game itself. That that's all it took. I didn't start off trying, I didn't start off trying to do everything. I built my name up doing one thing and I continued to, you know, I continued to dominate other niches until I became a top figure in the in this game as a whole. That's how simple it is. That's how simple it's been. But the thing is, content, and it's all about the content. It's all about what you know, the quality of the content. And when I say the quality of the content and the watch time, it's not just about super highly edited videos, great graphics or anything like that. The quality could be quality in what you're saying. Because if you all notice, I also have a finance channel. Now, my th th this this is my finance channel. This video has been posted on my finance channel. Now, the 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 way that this channel was built was more so me following an investment and it, it did really, really well. I, I was up 200, I, I went from a, like a $3,000 investment and turned it into $200,000. And my reputation within this community grew based on of that time period. Now those was unrealized gains and stuff like that. Like I go deeper into finance stuff on the channel, but that's how this particular channel you're watching right now was built. I've also built channels in the entertainment side of things where I was focused on relationships and Queen Nigel, Chris Sells, um, Clarence. Like I was relationship drama type of stuff. I was I was also in that lane as well. I, I, I started off just niched down. I started off reacting to more so Chris Sells because he was hated, and but he wasn't as popular as Queen and Clarence. So I would not be seen if I'm trying to talk about Chris and Queen because they're too strong, too powerful. Chris Sale is a little bit less popular because Queen took over and became, so I, I started going for, for that type of content and then I was able to make a name. Chris and Queen fans or, or, or Chris, yeah, Queen and Clarence fans start to know me. So when I talked about Queen, I started getting, yeah, I started, you know, I'm right there. Even though I'm not ranking up there for them, I'm around there, I'm, I'm in the family. So some of my videos will pop up like, hey, this guy over here who talks about this other guy who's related to y'all, he just dropped something, so sometimes my videos get sprinkled of extra love. It's all about understanding the algorithm and and niching down. Like th this is the biggest tip and advice that I I, I want to give you all. But I'm I'm the point of this video is to let you all understand that buying something from a YouTuber who just blew up and who just took off, like the majority of what she did is luck. All she and it's not really luck, but it is luck. She stayed consistent to the point where she found the content that people wanted to see. She found the formula and she just stuck with it. Stay consistent and you are going to, you're going to find your lane. You're going to be able to niche down, find your audience and get recommended to the people who want to see your content. That's all you have to do, switch it up. Maybe if you haven't found your particular niche that works for you, start off in dribbling. Then take it over to dunks, test that out. See if you people like your dunk videos better. Take it off, Take go down to your three videos. Maybe you, maybe they like the three videos better. Like niche down, practice different niches, all of that, man. There's, there's no point in trying to just keep doing the same content, hammer home the exact same content and nothing is working. Why do you keep trying it? Like, why do you keep doing the same content if, if no one is liking it or respecting it from you? Like certain content works for certain people and certain people, they like to hear certain people talk about certain things. So become one of those people people like to hear talking about something once you become one of those people you'll be able to continue making content on that as you make content on that slowly start to branch out into other things that you can that's kind of related and you know like you'll you'll find your thing the audience will respond to you the audience will tell you so like buying buying a course especially a course from a beginner it, it's not it's not that wise to to do in the first place but yeah people weren't really impressed because 
it's all just going to be generic and, and basic. The, the, real, the real thing that people struggle with is just being consistent. You'll get demotivated. Like it's hard to understand if you're not if you, if you're not used to analyzing things. Listen, what I'm giving you all is is a bunch of information that I've compiled over the last ten years on YouTube, man. Like this is, I, I spent a lot of time to learn a lot of this. I've been consistent. I've been inconsistent, and I'll tell you all this. Every single time I've grown up and I've, I've blown up and been at my peak in viewership, money, and every single thing, it was at my most consistent. My most consistent always. I'm I'm far less consistent nowadays because I'm working on other things. But at the end of the day, I don't have to be as consistent as I once was. So as you grow, you'll find your lane, you'll find your space, you'll find where you where you fit in, and you'll establish yourself as a name and as a presence. And that's all you really have to do. That's all the YouTube game is genuinely about. You just have to niche down. Like so. So this is pretty much the. I think one of the the biggest tips that people sleep on when it comes down to the YouTube game, bro. Find your content, stick to it. Um, let me know in the comment section if you all want me to speak on other tips. I can I can tell you all my approach to thumbnails, how I go about thumbnails, how I go about certain things, how I put my face in the algorithm, um, because the algorithm definitely knows who I am. <laughs> it's it's like, it's. It's, and that's been very strategic as well. Um, like I said, I have hundreds of millions of views. I, I've been in, in a lot of different, you know, a lot of different spaces within within the YouTube, you know, the YouTube sphere. So, yeah, um, I can give you tips about titles, how to come up with creative titles, how to not run out of ideas, all of this stuff. I, I can start making content on that if you all want it in the comment section, but just let me know in the comment section that you would like to see this stuff. But, um I, I I understand that that maybe she jumped the gun making a making a whole book or whatever or ebook, but you you shouldn't be expecting too much anyway. She's charging twenty dollars for it. It didn't. It is. I guess it's still selling. But yeah, it's like she she's hustling. She's doing what she does. She's staying consistent, and all she can tell you is the information she knows. Like more than likely, I, I haven't I haven't got the book. I can't really speak to the. The, what's within the book, but more than likely this video by itself is probably more information than, than she's even capable of giving you in, in the book. But um, <laughs> that that being said, let understand that she is leveling up. She's at the level that she's at and she's doing her thing right now. So she can give you all some good advice, but it's just gonna be from her perspective. You might've heard these tips other places, but looking at tip videos and stuff all day long is not going to help you at this stage. If you already have been seeing content, you've been watching a bunch of content telling you what to do and stuff like that, really, you're at the stage where you have to do something. That's the stage you're at right now. So, you know, get off of YouTube or, or get off of the um the tutorials and start creating your content. Now, let me know if you all have any questions about content. I'll be dropping a lot more videos on this channel about stuff like that. A lot more finance stuff coming as well. Um, also, be sure you can check out the Patreon if you want. I will be talking about more investment opportunities in there. I'll be talking about money, finance, a lot of stuff like that. And I'll be eventually getting back to doing interviews with my millionaire, billionaire friends and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of a lot more content coming to the Patreon soon if you all want to check me out there and see more content from me. But um, as, as, it is, as we have it now, this is the end. <laughs> like, I don't know why that was a weird ending, but it'd be like that. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And yeah, I will catch you all on the next one. Good luck on YouTube. Peace out, fam.